Yes, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say Hey everybody, how's it going? Our house new one here, and I wanted to show you my new toy. Well, more precisely, you know, my new piece of instrumentation. So here you got my unnamed Apex. I'm doing a little bit of surgery on it. Um, I'm actually doing surgery on, you know, Surly and on Dizzy and on this guy right here. Well, so what am I doing? Well, he's getting his new motor. And I'll talk about that a little bit. He's also getting a new speed controller. And you can see, you can see the Castle Creations logo there. Sorry for bad lighting, but yeah, you can see it's got a new Castle motor that's in place. And it's also got a Castle speed controller that's gonna go in here, and I'll talk a little more about that later. But one of the things that I've been trying to do, or that I've been wanting to do for the fleet for a little while now, <clears throat> is when I'm in runs, I've, I've been forced enough to be able to set these guys up so that they're very clean and that they're very efficient. So they don't really need a whole lot of time in between runs to cool down. But, you know, I still want to keep track of motor temperatures just to make sure that I'm not overstressing anything. But with the fiberglass shells, uh, I'm going to be replacing these body posts with the screw on types like I have on Surly and on Dizzy. But, you know, you know, once you get these things on, you don't really want to be cracking the hood and back and forth. It's just kind of wasting time, especially if the car doesn't really need to cool down or anything. So what do you do? Well, the easy answer to that is you get some sort of remote temperature sensor. But how do you read it? Well, that's where this little box comes in. So check this out. So right here, I've just kind of got my uh, the Reedy ESC that... Uh, is about to sell on eBay right now. So this guy right here um, He's probably going to be sold by the time I post this video But currently with about a day and a half left, you know, it's already up to $65 for the motor and EC combo But right now I'm just using it as a power supply. So it's plugged into my Venom battery. So let me just go ahead and turn this guy on There and whoa check this out 75 degrees so this guy's happy so i'm getting a nice temperature reading and you can see right here i've got a nice illuminated led display and it's got my little bar chart or a little bar graph on it so i'll be able to look through the window and see exactly how hot you know my temperature probe is so let's find a probe probe's way over here so check this out so right now Okay, it's just sitting in ambient air. Well, that's not true. It's kind of sitting up against me, so it was a little bit warmer. So let me just go ahead and I'm gonna put this in my fingers and watch the display. So as you can see, it has fairly quick response time. So let's give it a few more seconds and it should come up to my body temperature here very shortly. Okay, so I'm slowing down a little bit, but you can see 93 degrees. Let's give it a few more seconds, 93.5, 93.7. So you can actually see the temperatures rising as it's coming up to match what my uh, body temperature is. So, you know, in a few more seconds, Okay, so fingers are a little cooler than because your extremities. So let me just go ahead and do something silly. I'm putting this behind my ear. See if that kicks it up a little bit. Yep, there we go. So you're not seeing this on camera, but I'm actually holding this behind my ear up to my body. See if I can get this all the way up to 98 degrees. Okay, oh, 95.9, 96, okay, it's getting closer, so almost there. So the obvious question is, how accurate is this? Now, you could kind of be silly with the answer there, but honestly, it doesn't have to be too accurate because, I mean, I'm more concerned of gross temperatures as opposed to exact temperatures. And what I mean by that is, you know, typically you want to keep these motors below 
like a hundred like castle says keep them below 160 or 180 degrees you know when doing speed runs basically you're dumping a lot of heat quickly so the surface is going to be one of the cooler parts of the motor because it's, it's got a lot of heat internally that has to dissipate outward so you know for me i'll probably try to keep my surface temperatures a little bit cooler but at least my experience on the big cars is that you know i've been running pretty cold um so if i'm off by a few degrees you know the, the point of this thing is to see am i am i way overheated or am i kind of comfortable you can see the little bar chart there you know that's going to be a really quick at a glance look to see you know how it's doing so let me just i have my remote temperature sensor around here somewhere you know so what i'll do actually did i do it i think you know what i may have left it at home um yeah anyway um so what i'll actually do at some point is i'll i'll do um a video where i compare the readings from my infrared temperature gun with the reading from this probe and just see how close they are but just so you guys know so i'm just going to take this guy here i'm going to zip tie it to the motor and that's going to be about it so no, you can already see it's starting to return back to normal temperature so i am going to have to figure out when i'm going to do all these extra wires because with these guys you, you you typically don't want to cut the wires for these temperature sensors and that's because this temperature sensing device is actually called a thermistor and the way that it senses temperature is that inside the probe it has two different metals of different properties and when it gets exposed to heat it actually uh, changes the conductivity through it so a lot of thermistors actually use special wire to um to 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 be able to gauge the electrical differences so you know it's one of those things that if you cut the wire you can change the electrical properties so some thermistors may be okay with cutting some may not be so thanks for watching our house only one signing out and remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again remember to check me out on facebook and instagram and all the other social media out there and you know remember to get in there look for inspiration in all sorts of different places and give it a try some things will work some things won't work but you know the point of this channel is to try to inspire people to look at things a little bit differently sometimes different is good all right guys our house 21 signing out peace